My name is Sofia Moyano Klegner. I'm the director for Sukasa, the Hispanic Center. The mission of SUCASA, the Hispanic Center, is to provide comprehensive services to fulfill the needs of our Hispanic Latino families in the area of Cincinnati, while at the same time empowering them to become proactive. SUCASA started more than a decade ago as a grassroots program formed by a group of Hispanic members from a church. Four years ago, it separated from a church and nowadays is part of a non-profit organization called Catholic Charities of Southwestern Ohio. Number one, a partnership with other organizations. We partner and we have a great relationship with other organizations such as legal uh, services, social services, uh, universities, healthcare institutions, corporate institutions, and many other city services uh, agencies. Number two, trust in issues. We have the trust of our Hispanic families and individuals. They know that we strive to provide the best services uh, for themselves, but we also respect them as individuals. And number three, the trust of our Hispanic community. Our community know that we strive to provide the best services that we can for them, and we also respect them as individuals. So there you have, what is the core of our success? Partnership with other organizations, the input of our volunteers, and the trust of our community. Well, at Sukasa, we focus on topics such as obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. In doing that, we offer Zumba classes, which is sort of a merengue salsa aerobic class, as well as two health fairs a year. Um, our last health fair was in January, and we had over 300 people attend, and we offered mammograms, um, pap smears, um, prostate exams, we offered uh, blood pressure, glucose, and cholesterol screenings, and, and much more. So those are very popular here. We had, like I said, over 300 people attend. And we also offer different workshops, such as a lead prevention workshop, um, and we're hoping in the future to have walking clubs and other activities for the community to be active. Okay, at Sukasa we have an ESL, which is English as a Second Language program. We have a computer program, um, computer classes, as GED, and a literacy class, which is reading and writing in Spanish. Um, our ESL program, we have currently two levels. We have three classes of level one, and we have one class of level two. In order to move on to the next level, the students have to take an exam. We have wonderful volunteers. They're all professionals. They're all very dedicated and enthusiastic. So we're very blessed to have such wonderful volunteers at Sukasa. Um, our computer classes, we also have two levels, level one and level two. In order to go to level two, you have to take an exam, just like in the ESL program. Um, our literacy class, we just started this um, about a month ago, and that's reading and writing in Spanish, so it's for those who have no formal education in their country. Um, again, we're so lucky here at Sukasa to have such wonderful volunteers in these programs. Um, our GED class takes place on Saturday evenings. And our classes currently take place on Sundays, our um, computer, ESL, and literacy classes. Well, we have a wide array of services that uh, we offer here at Sukasa. Among them uh, would be an information referral service where we empower people through knowledge, how to navigate through the various um, systems here in the United States, for example, um, job and family services, um, other social service providers, um, and other um, outlets of um, uh, other social out outlets. Well, we provide um, uh, job development for uh, our consumers, uh, that is, we um, contact employers um, and we look at 
uh, potential employment opportunities for the consumers that we serve. Um, and we try to do uh, job matching and also um, because of the population that we're working with, that we're working with, there are uh, there are specific issues that pertain to the population, and we certainly try to assist people in overcoming the obstacles that they're facing um, when taking on the challenge of finding a job here in the United States. We, uh, when a family comes to us seeking housing, we um, identify first if they're looking, you know, to rent or to uh, purchase a property. Um, most of the times it's um, the former rather than the latter. Um, and uh, so we basically serve uh, in everything from interpreting, um, getting through the initial um, placement of the person in, in an apartment, orientating folks as to all that is needed here in the United States to be able to rent an, an, an apartment um, and assisting them basically in, in just navigating how to go about seeking housing here in the United States which oftentimes is a little different than the way they would you know seek housing in their own respective countries. I hope you found this video informative and thank you so much for watching and you know you're always welcome here at Sukasa.